Let's take a step back and understand why the French military was invited in the first place. The history of French involvement in West Africa is a complex tapestry of colonial relationships, political alliances, and strategic interests. In the early 21st century, the Sahel region of West Africa found itself in a precarious situation, faced with rising jihadist insurgency, political instability, and the specter of regional conflict, the nations of the Sahel reached out for external assistance. The French troops were invited to aid in the fight against these jihadist forces, a decision made in a climate of escalating violence and uncertainty. Their presence was seen as a necessary measure to stabilize the region and to counter the growing threat of terrorism. The French military with their superior resources and strategic capabilities were viewed as the best chance to curb the tide of insurgency and restore peace. Their role in the region has been significant. Over the years, French forces have conducted numerous operations against jihadist groups, providing a semblance of stability and security in a region under siege. Their presence has been a contentious issue, but it's undeniable that they have played a key role in the region's security framework. Understanding this backdrop is crucial to comprehend the current situation. As we explore the departure of these forces, it's important to remember how and why they arrived in the first place. The invitation of French troops was not simply a military decision, but a reflection of the complex interplay of history, politics, and security in West Africa. And as we move forward, these factors continue to shape the region's path towards self-governance and autonomy. What happens when the guardians of a troubled region make the decision to withdraw? How does it influence the balance of power, the pursuit of peace, and the quest for self-determination? These questions are not merely theoretical, Rather, they represent the tangible reality for the nations of the Sahel region in West Africa. Here, French troops have recently bid goodbye, leaving behind a legacy of over a decade of intense anti-jihadist operations. The withdrawal of French forces from Niger and other West African nations is not just a significant milepost in the journey of these countries, but also an enormous turning point. It's a bold move that serves as a testament to their longing for autonomy, their preparedness to seize control of their destinies, and their unwavering determination to revamp their relationships with external powers. The decision to bid adieu to the French troops was not a spontaneous one. It came after careful considerations against the backdrop of shifting political terrains, frequent coups, and the haunting specter of jihadist insurgency. Yet, undeterred by these formidable challenges, these nations chose to assert their sovereignty, thereby challenging and refuting the conventional narrative of foreign military involvement in their affairs. However, this decision is ensnared in a web of complexities. The departure of French troops, while symbolizing a significant stride towards self-governance and autonomy, also sends ripples of concern about the security implications throughout the region. The vacuum left by the French forces presents an entirely new battlefield of challenges in the relentless fight against jihadist insurgency, the potential repercussions on the security and stability of these nations are extensive and worrisome. Furthermore, this departure necessitates a thorough re-evaluation of international relationships and the role of former colonial powers in African affairs. It shines a spotlight on the need for a more egalitarian approach to partnerships between African nations and external powers. This approach should be firmly rooted in the principles of mutual respect and cooperation. As these nations traverse this transition, it's imperative for the international community to lend their unwavering support to their pursuit, stability, security, and self-governance. This pivotal shift offers a golden opportunity for West African nations to redefine their relationships with the global community and to bolster their inherent capacities to address regional challenges. Now, more than ever, it's essential to understand the immense significance of this withdrawal, the complexities associated with it, and the profound implications it holds for the future. Now, one may wonder why West African nations are advocating for the departure of French troops. This enigma can be deciphered by analyzing the shifting dynamics and sentiments within the Sahel region. Over years, the existence of French troops was perceived as a crucial deterrent against the threat of jihadist insurgency. However, this belief has gradually been replaced with a new narrative. An escalating sentiment amongst West African nations is that the presence of foreign troops, particularly those from former colonial powers, represents an unwelcome interference in their domestic affairs. This shift in sentiment didn't transpire overnight, 
it is the culmination of a slow yet deliberate evolution in national consciousness. When we delve deeper, we find that the motivations for this call for the departure of French troops multifarious. Standing at the forefront is the aspiration for autonomy and self-determination. The nations of the Sahel region are on a quest to assert their sovereignty, to take the reins of their destinies into their own hands, and to construct a new framework for their relationships with external powers. Their readiness to shoulder the responsibilities and challenges that accompany this decision signifies their commitment to self-governance. They are prepared to embark on a journey of self-determination, to establish their own priorities, and to mold their own futures. This longing for departure is a mirror reflecting the evolving aspirations of the Sahel region. It stands as a testament to their steadfastness in charting their own course, asserting their independence, and claiming their rightful position on the global stage. This is indeed a daring move, filled with challenges, but it is a move that loudly echoes their determination and their dreams of a future sculpted by their own decisions. As the French troops start their retreat, the Sahel region stands at the crossroads of history. The departure marks a significant turning point, a shift that will indelibly shape the narrative of the region in the years to come. The intricate web of post-colonial relationships, the voracious quest for self-determination, and the potential implications for the region's future are all part of this dynamic equation. This transition brings with it a multitude of complexities, deeply ingrained in the post-colonial relationships that have long defined the dynamics between the Sahel nations and their former colonial powers. These complexities, these ties that bind, can no longer be brushed aside. They must be acknowledged, addressed, and untangled to pave the way for true autonomy and self-determination. The departure of the French troops also presents potential challenges and opportunities for the Sahel region. The void left by the French could lead to power struggles, destabilization, and the rise of extremist elements. However, it also presents an opportunity to foster self-reliance, to develop innovative security strategies, and to strengthen regional alliances. The international community has a crucial role to play in this transitional phase. By providing aid, sharing expertise, and facilitating peace negotiations, they can support the Sahel region's aspirations for autonomy and stability. The road ahead may be fraught with obstacles, but with international cooperation and understanding, these challenges can be navigated. As we move forward, these key points will continue to shape the narrative of the Sahel region and its quest for a more secure and prosperous future. This is not just the end of an era, but the dawn of a new one, where the Sahel region takes control of its destiny, forging its own path towards a future of its own making. The departure of French troops from Niger and other West African nations signifies a new chapter in the region's history. This shift spotlights the intricacies tangled within post-colonial relationships. These relationships, often marked by power dynamics and dependency, can impact the political, economic, and cultural spheres of these nations heavily. The ongoing pursuit of self-determination further underscores these complexities, as these nations strive to assert their sovereignty and forge their own identities. The road ahead may indeed be littered with obstacles, but it also opens a gateway for these countries to shape their own trajectory towards a safer and more prosperous future. This shift, while momentous, also carries potential implications for the region's future. The void left by French troops could lead to power struggles, destabilization, and possible growth of extremist elements. On the other hand, it could also foster self-reliance, innovative security strategies, and strengthening of regional alliances. This juncture demands introspection, open dialogue, and international camaraderie in backing the Sahel region's ambitions for autonomy and stability. The act of reflection allows for learning from past experiences, mistakes, and successes. Dialogue encourages open communication, fostering understanding and collaborative problem-solving. International solidarity, meanwhile, ensures that the international community stands unified in its support for the Sahel region during this crucial transition. In this scenario, the international community's role in buttressing these Sahelian nations cannot be overstated. From providing aid to sharing expertise, facilitating peace negotiations, the international community can be instrumental in propelling these nations towards their aspirations. In this video, we've dug deeper into the departure of French troops from the Sahel region, the intricate web of post-colonial relationships, and the probable repercussions for the region's future. 
We've investigated the crave for autonomy and self-determination, the security implications, the call for reassessing international relationships, and the crucial role of the global community in supporting these nations. Moving forward, these crucial points will continue to mold the narrative of the Sahel region and its pursuit for a safer and thriving future.